fishing I got me a line Cop! 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 Nothing I do Hi, I'm Terry Peters, the biggest angling show in the country. It's the big one. Welcome back. Yeah, we're again, mate. Yeah, can't, mate. Can't wait. Oh shit! And you for? I bought a twenty-pound rod on the sat on the Saturday. Went home, loaded it up with a reel, weighed in sixty-nine pound on the match on the Sunday and won the match. <laughs> really much rather do a questions and answers thing and actually give you the information that you actually want rather than rambling on um, about stuff that you don't want to know about. So has anyone got a question to start us off? I haven't been doing the carping for too long so I want to know the pros and cons of using an inline lead and a safety clip. Right okay, um, inline leads generally are good for, for hard, hard clean bottoms yeah so mud, clay, gravel, sand that sort of thing. When the, when the hook link's flaying around as you cast, it's pulling the nose up slightly. So it won't cast quite as far. Right, on the three rods, what bait would I use? Right, I don't know if you know any of it, but over, over the uh, last couple of years, I've been quite fortunate to find a place where I can get maggots. Or fed too much and but overdone it. I just changed it. the feeding pattern when the water slowed to little tiny softballs that exploded on the top. I kept catching 70 an hour, finished up with 345 yeah. fish. I mean, you're when someone's fishing it, you know, dead delicately on the old caster, watching his feed there, you go in there on a size 12 or size 10 hook, calls her a prawn, you're hammering. The presentations left to right of it. Too many fish in me, Peggy, and I'll tell you at this stage, it's just, look, look at the floor. Just up and down, up and down all the time. Many stars here from the angling world here today too, taking into account Andy Kinder, who uh, represents uh, Maver, but fishes for Barnsley Blacks. Always nice to see you here today, Andy. How are you doing? I'm fine, to yourself. People can actually speak to you. You're not up on a kind of a pedestal. People don't, aren't, you, you, people can't see you. They can at a show like this, can't they? Oh, they can, and, and really, it's the only opportunity that, that, that Mr. Average gets to see me. I mean, I'm fishing on the bank with top match anglers every day, but that's not the same, is it? And so for me, it's good. It's my chance to chat to the public, see what they want, see, see what they're after. And no, I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Bob Nudd, four times world champion, very hands-on guy. Two days, you packed them in. I've never yeah, seen yeah. so many people in my life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've already said to Vince, it's got to be bigger, this room, for next year. And it brings in the stars as well, all the people that you only get to hear about, read about, or only hear sometimes on the radio. And right now, I'm speaking to Keith Arthur. Hello, Keith. I was just looking around to see who you meant for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's been all good news. And secondly, the sheer volume of people that have come through the door. I mean, it's been massive. I, 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 I should imagine, I don't know Vince will say, but I knew it would be like that, but, but I... I, I I think it's surpassed anybody's uh, intentions. I just think it's been astounding. My name's Dave Oz, I'm from Rice uh, And your thoughts on the whole weekend? It's been good, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's been very good. Um, a good save. We've got plenty of uh, gear, as you can see. Um, plenty of baits, plenty of everything. Bivvies and so forth, we've done well. Yeah. And what sort of fishing do you normally do? You get a bit of carp? We're on carp now, yeah, we do carp fishing. Good old mainly. Carp, yeah. We do a bit of river fishing as well, but mainly carp. Mainly carp. Very, very well organised. Love the parking right outside. Yeah, come again. I'll spend money like I did last year. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, so you do it all again. Oh, yes. Looking forward to next year. Thank you very much. Right, it's the end of the trading day and indeed the weekend here at the big one for 2010. More happy people walking out the door with more bargains than you can shake a stick at. But generally, what a vibe. I've got two people here with me uh, who uh, have taken in the experience of the whole thing of the weekend. Nice to see you guys. Thank you very much. All right, and uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Russell Sharp, 
I'm from uh, Hamworth. Hamworth, uh, Middlesex. Yeah, Middlesex. Yeah. So tell us about your thoughts on the weekend. You, you must have walked out the door with some great bargains. Uh, I've been back to the car three times to load it up. Uh, carp gear, match gear. What about your mate? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, mate, <coughs> excuse me, my name's Pete Adcott. I'm from uh, sort of, uh, Witten in Hounslow. It's been, yeah, it's been a good experience at the show. Um, tell us a bit about what you bought. I mean, uh, it's uh, it, it's been so much stuff there. Uh, what have you bought exactly? I bought a few, a couple of rods for my boys. I've bought some unhooking mats and general carp gear and general carp fish have been carp fishing for years and I've got some good bargains. Yeah, it's been really good. So it wouldn't stop you coming back. You certainly endorse the whole thing and come back next year? Yeah, it's just the fact of the whole show, meeting a few people, a few stars and that. It's been, yeah, it's been a good experience, excellent experience. I'll do it again, definitely. Another successful weekend here at Farnborough for 2010. The big one is exactly what it says on the tin. It's the biggest angling fair, a show and exhibition sale in the country. You just can't beat it. More successful people have been in here today to walk out the door with many more bargains than you ever thought possible. And of course, lots of new companies bringing in a new innovative tackle for 2010. We'll be back again next year for another edition of the whole thing here at Farnborough for 2011. I'm Terry Peters, Tight Lines till next time.